Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and welcome to another one of our sound comparison videos. Yeah, today more and more people wanting to record their drums at home, but there are so many solutions on the market. So today we're going to be looking at three different recording solutions at three different price points to give you guys an idea of the kind of sound you can get for your money. Yeah, we're going to take the cheapest set of drum mics you can buy on the market and we're going to compare those against the Yamaha EAD10 and then we're going to compare that against the studio mics we use here. So to kick off today's price comparison, we're going to be looking at one of the cheapest set of drum mics on the market, and that is the T-Bone DC1500. Now while this kit is incredibly cheap, it comes with a bass drum mic, four clip-on tom mics, and two small diaphragm condensers for overheads. Now it is worth mentioning, to be able to record a set of drum mics, you will need an audio interface that's capable of recording enough input simultaneously. There are loads of different options for interfaces like this on the market with a massive difference in price range between them. But for the sake of today's video, we're not going to talk about that and we're just going to be using our studio system for all examples without any processing. So the next piece of equipment we're going to look at is the Yamaha EAD10. Now this isn't just a miking solution, it's a complete recording solution. Yeah, that's right. So the EAD10 is the only product we're looking at today that is capable of recording its own audio in the module. With both sets of mics, you're going to need an audio interface and a computer to be able to record, and they're going to need extra expertise to get a set of mics set up and to get them in phase. Now our first ever video on this channel featured the Yamaha EAD10, so if you want to know more about it, check out the video in the description. The Yamaha EAD10 is a really neat little system that has two condenser microphones and a bass drum trigger in the same unit. From this unit, the signals are fed into a module. The module has all types of settings to change the sound of the mics and the samples, but now we're going to see what it sounds like straight out the box. So for the purpose of this video, we're trying to get a neutral studio sound. So we're going to bring down the reverb, and because the ride cymbal is very close to the condenser mics, we're just going to move it away slightly. This gives us a much better balance between the ride and crash volume. As an optional upgrade, on the back of the EAD10 there are inputs for triggers for the toms and snare to complement the bass drum trigger. Today we're going to be using Yamaha's DT50S drum triggers. These triggers feel really well built and they were very easy to set up. 
Now we're going to do a factory reset on the EAD10 and see what they sound like fresh out the box. Okay, whoa, 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 obviously something's gone wrong there. Obviously there are a few settings we need to look at before these will work properly. So what we had to do was tell the module what triggers we were using and then tell the module which drum the trigger was attached to to play the right sample. And just for a little bit of fine tuning, we've just brought down the volume of the samples and as before, brought down the reverb and raised the height of the ride cymbal. Now moving on to the final part of this comparison video, this is our full set of professional drum studio mics. This full setup consists of a Shure Beta 52 on the bass drum, two SM57s for the snare, top and bottom, CAD Audio M179s on the toms, a pair of Aston Origins for overheads, and an SE Electronics R1 ribbon for a room mic. We use these mics for all of our videos, so we're super familiar with how they sound, but for the sake of a fair comparison here, let's check them out under exactly the same circumstances. So now you've heard all three of our miking solutions, let's see what they sound like in a back-to-back -back comparison. Now for both sets of drum mics so far, the audio you've heard is unmixed. For the sake of this comparison, we're going to be putting the unmixed audio back-to-back -back with mixed audio. Now remember, with the EAD, this is a stage you don't have to worry about. The audio from the EAD doesn't require mixing and already comes out pre-mixed. This is worth bearing in mind if you're new to recording and looking for a recording rig.
So now you've heard them all, what do you think? I tell you what, I'm actually really impressed with the T-Bone set. Yeah. For that price point, I never thought you'd get a sound as good as they've come out. The only thing that does let that set down is the overheads. That's really the weak point. If you are considering buying that set, if you can budget for an upgrade on the overheads, that would really give it that extra bit of sparkle. How about the Yamaha? What's your thoughts on that? I think it's really clever. A really clever piece of kit. But to my ears, it does sound like the worst. But it's it's really a bit unfair to say that because it is the cheapest, if not on the initial outlay, considering you haven't got to buy all the extras. Um, so with that consideration, I think it's a really great bit of kit. Um, obviously you like the studio mics because you chose them. Yeah, yeah, um, I love those mics. They, they're not budget friendly, but you do get that professional edge with them. Great, let us know what you think and what you use at home and what you thought was the best value for money. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.